Welcome to Vowood. My name is Simon Finch. I'm the owner of Vowood. I'm a rare book dealer. That's been my profession, though I've branched out into other things. I've always loved property, which has given me the ability to borrow money to buy more expensive rare books. Vowood has a sense of mystery. No one's quite sure what it means. It's something that's Scandinavian in origin, has something to do with watercourse. It was built by the architect Edwin Troder Pryor for a family called the Lloyds. Uh, Vowood's an arts and crafts house built between 1903 and 1905. The arts and crafts movement, broadly speaking, was begun by um, John Ruskin and William Morris in the 1850s. It was built very much in the arts and crafts tradition. The gardens are sunken because a lot of the aggregate, the flint and so forth, was quarried from the ground at larger cost than it would have taken to buy it commercially. I'd sort of made it a start and then I invited an old friend of mine who I'd done a lot of work with before, Annabel Gray, who was a textile designer by trade. All round visual genius, I think, in, in many, many respects. Annabel came up and she essentially lived here for quite a long time. I mean, she painted, hand-painted a, a lot of the curtains and it kind of evolved. You know, Annabel would come up with an idea, I'd say, yes, I like that, let's go. So it was, in a sense, in the arts and crafts tradition, using local craftsmen, using local artists, uh, being quite free about the decoration. You know, there's a little bit of, I like kitsch, I like certain elements of kitsch. There, you know, there are areas of kitsch, there's areas of relatively serious pictures, and there's, you know, there's pop art, there's, you know, lots of different elements, a bit of rock and roll. Um, and, you know, we just had a lot of fun dreaming things up and doing it, and underpinned by Annabelle's vision and her ability to actually do the stuff. The gardens are grade one listed. It's a natural extension of the house and was actually designed by the architect. The basic layout of the garden was there. You, know, you could see what it was meant to be. Steph and Johnny, who work in the garden, uh, you know, have just done an amazing job and it continues to grow. And the wall garden made slightly formal with um, lavender and roses and then quite romantic borders. It's, it's a fantastic garden to be in, I absolutely love it. Bowood is built on a butterfly principle, the body and two, two wings. It's full of angles, inventions, areas, um, touches. It has an almost visceral effect on people, the people that like it. But it has got its, its own particular feel and, and people do respond to, to the house extremely, extremely positively. I like everything from the kitsch to fairly serious to 17th century to pop art. And I like to see in what way objects relate to each other. You know, because all, all objects are is stuff created by people. And somehow it seems to, I think Vowood is a very good gallery for it. it. It's a very accommodating house. You can put all sorts of things in it that may not work in an Elizabethan house or so forth. It, can, it, it invites eclecticism, which suits me down to the ground because it's fun to play with different, different images and different, different things. I enjoy eclecticism and you know, Vowood's really given me the opportunity to play with that and have fun. It's a wonderful house, it's, uh, you know, it's been a great passion of mine for the past 22 years. <laughs>